Kaiser Chiefs need a top, top striker. Ntlapo told kickoff. Reynas was the right one for me. That boy can score. That guy knows where the goals are. Imagine his combination with Ashley Dupre there up front. I like the runs Reynas makes on the field. He makes some good runs, that boy. Buffett, I agree with Mr. Ntlapo on a striker that can score goals. Chiefs should invest in a striker that can score, but also link up to the midfield. However, Gonzalez may handle this, so maybe we need to wait. But do let us know in the comment section below. Do you think Chiefs need Reynas? And in other news, Amakosi could be in high alert as a very talented Mamelodi Sundown star is fed up with his lack of game time and wants to leave, according to Sokala Doom. Gaston Serino is allegedly unhappy at the Brazilians. Therefore, he and his camp want him to leave. They want him to join a club where he will play more regularly. Chiefs could potentially sign Serino. Serino and his camp want to find him a club that will give him more game time than Mamelodi Sundowns. As it stands now, both parties want out. The player wants to go where he will have game time. The source confirmed on Sokala Doom. He is open to leaving. In fact, he wants to leave as soon as possible. He has struggled for game time under Rulani Mugwena and the current perception is that the Brazilians plan to use him as a fringe player. This is not what Serino had planned. That makes him more of a fringe player and it's frustrating for him and that's why he wants to leave as soon as possible, the source added. Musiman assigned him to Sundowns back in 2018. Furthermore, Chiefs and parents were previously linked with him. However, there has been no official interest recently. Serino is very talented and shouldn't be short of suitors. Serino was previously courted by Amakosi after the Sundowns talisman wanted to depart with the club. The Sowoto Giants had wanted to make an official bid for him but never followed through. Serino needs no mentioning guys. His quality, as creative as ever and can score lots of goals too. But such is the quality of Sundowns that not even he, a midfield maestro, can get a run in. But what do you think Kosi? Do you think we should sign him? Obviously, a player of his quality, vision, and creativity can bring instant change to Amakosi, especially given his PSL experience. Do let us know in the comment section. In other news, according to popular ITK source Unplayable ZA, Billiard is likely to join Egyptian giants Al Ahli's arch rivals Zamalek. The Zimbabwean attacker made just 10 league appearances in 2022 2023 season failing to score a single goal and assisting just two, although in all fairness, it was an injury-ravaged season for the former Mamelodi Sundowns starlet. Billiard was offered a new contract at Naturena in July, but walked away from the deal without explanation, according to reports. He was last training with compatriot Ivan Srasike, who is also looking without a club. If there's a case of what could have been but never became, it's Kama Billiard and Keza Chiefs. I mean, with all due honesty, he never was delivering as we expected, and I believe holding on to him was going to be more painful than letting go. A quality player who can't deliver two consistent performances in a row is just not worthy of a Chiefs jersey. But he set Amakosi free by refusing to sign. He's not the billiard of Pizzo or Moshin at Ajax. He's way past his prime. But anyway, do let us know if you think he brought anything from Downs. Can't wait to read your comments in the section below. Thanks for watching. And in other news, according to the South African publication, Kaiser Chiefs fans should prepare to say goodbye to the ninth player as Kamohelo Mahlazi looks set to head for the exit door. The talented midfielder has been linked with an exit for several months. A few months ago, Matlata's management requested that he was transfer listed. However, he has two years left on his contract, which has made it difficult for management to loan him out or for other sides to sign him. You see, his contract only ends in June 2025, the relevant source reported. 
Now it seems as though management are set to release him. But from the looks of things, it is hard to get a loan move for him as well. So the only way the team is trying now is to work on other logistics of how to release him. He added. George Matlow and Sabelo Khadebe have fallen further down the pecking order with the arrival of Amakos' new midfielders. Therefore, Mduduzim Danzani and Edston Castillo could spell trouble for Mashazi, Matlow and Khadebe. Furthermore, Yusuf Matt, Nkosin Pile Ngobo and Sam Kelozwane are already ahead of the Amakosi trio. Bafo it. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.